My name is Pindile Sibanyoni from South Africa. On the day of the incident, I was sitting with my husband on the table waiting to be served of food. While we were still sitting, I could hear the thunderstorm. It was like it was going to rain. We were sitting facing this direction. Then when I look at the back, because there was a window this side, looking through the window, thinking that maybe I will see clouds, I, it's when I saw the cracks. The cracks were so fast. I looked at my husband, he looked at me. We didn't know what to say. Then all of a sudden it was dark. We were on the floor. I slept facing the upward position. Then after some few seconds, it's when now I, I woke up on that, on that thing. Then I called my husband asking him whether he was fine or what. And he told me that he was fine, he was not scratched or whatever. Then we started praying, thanking God of saving us out of that incident. You know, the slap gave us a very uh, short distance just for us to 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 be to be in uh, to to be kept under underneath without any scratch or whatever. But there was very it was very hot. There was no oxygen. We were sweating, and all of a sudden we were breathing very fast. Then after a while. While praying, we were, we were uh, giving uh, uh, each other advices that we should not uh, breathe with mouth. Breathe, we must try breathing with our nose so that we cannot lo lose more energy. Then we were there until the following day at 1 o'clock. The incident happened on Friday around 1 o'clock. Then we were rescued around 1 o'clock the following day. But my husband passed away an hour before we were rescued. He said everything to me and told me that I must make sure through thick and thin that I keep my heart pure before God and I do not spoil the relationship that I have with God. Then he passed away. Then it's when I was then rescued and I was taken to hospital. After a while, I was denying that he has passed away. I thought he's going to come back to life. You know, when I came back from hospital on that evening, I was asking myself, where was he? I was asking everyone where my husband was taken to. But nobody could know because people were taken to different hospitals. Then I spent some days not knowing. Then on Tuesday, when I went to altar to pray that God should rescue my husband wherever he is, immediately when I arrived at the altar, I fell asleep. Then all of a sudden, I heard my husband talking on my left ear. He was talking to someone else. He was not talking to me. He said, do you say, this is uh, Ruth. Ruth, do you mean Ruth for Naomi? Then all of a sudden, I saw three white women were sitting on my right hand side. And they were facing that direction. I could see them on the side. The one who was Ruth was, was having gray hair was sitting facing the other side. Then all of a sudden, I woke up on that dream. Then I could realize that my husband is no more in this world. The Ruth and Naomi is, is no longer in this world. They are above. And you know, before we came on this uh, service, God was taking me through the, the scripture where I could read about Naomi, the pain Naomi God went through when he went to Amalek with his husband and when coming back alone, you know, I was feeling the pain for, 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 for Naomi. But all of a sudden, after, after that revelation came, it's when I knew that my husband is no more in this world. Then on Wednesday, it was confirmed to me, I went back home. I thank God on everything because I realized the love of God for me. If the day of my husband was going to arrive while we were at home in South Africa, I don't think my husband will be at home with God. Maybe he will be somewhere else where... But I, I, I thank God that he made it possible that we, wa we are here and that he is there. Now, in, in whatever that I was going through, while we were waiting for the bodies, the only words that could keep me going is the words that were said by my husband before his passing. That in through thick and thin, make sure that you do not lose the special relationship you have with God. I thank you. When we were down there on the, on the, on the um, dining hall, I was feeling scratchy in my eye, like, 
there's something that is moving in. So I was busy scratching, scratching. The doctors would say, please do not touch it because it's going to swell. And all of a sudden, when we were here, I sprayed anointing water by one of the evangelists here. Then I felt that scratching was too much now. Then all of a sudden, a contact lens came out. This contact lens got lost last year. I think it was around November when I was putting them. I was at work. And all of a sudden, I only found one contact, contact lens. I thought maybe the other one fell on the ground and I couldn't see it because I searched all over the ground. I couldn't find it. I only find one. So I thought maybe it was in my eye. Then I went to the doctor. The doctor said, there's nothing in your eye. It's fine. Continue to put another contact lenses. Then I used the, contact, the, the, the other contact lenses on top of this one, taking them off and putting them again. Even while we were in this incident, I was putting contact lenses on top of these contact lenses. Now today it come out by the name of Jesus. Amen.